Hello, and welcome to the Nogama Village Mi'kmaq Language Program. In this lesson, we are going to learn the months of the year and the days of the week. We will then take a look at some of the special days and holiday names. Let's begin with the months, each of which is named for a particular moon, often referring to the activity that happens at that time of year. Sometimes they are named after an animal, as in the case with January, which is known as the frostfish moon. Frostfish are otherwise known as tomcod. Repeat after me. Unamuigus. January. Unamuigus. Unamuigus. January. Unamuigus. Buna mui goose, January. Buna mui goose. Buna mui goose. Buna mui goose. In February, we are in the middle of winter. So this month is called snow blinder. As in the sun can be extra bright bouncing off the snow. Say it with me. Abokhanajit, February. Abokhanajit, Abokhanajit, February, Abokhanajit, Abokhanajit, February. Abokhanajit, Abokhanajit, Abokhanajit. With March, we have the precursor to spring when things start to come back to life. So it is called the spawning moon, which is seagull goose. Seagull goose, March. Seagull goose, seagull goose, March. The month of April means many animals are starting to reproduce, and that can mean the laying of eggs. So we call this month the egg laying moon or Binadimuigus, April. Binadimuigus. Binadimuigus, April. Binadimuigus, Binadimuigus, April. Binadimuigus, Binadimuigus, Binadimuigus. The merry month of May in Mi'kmaq is called the frog croaking moon, as the frogs and toads emerge from the mud. Say it with me. Sculptui goose, May. Sculptui goose, Sculptui goose, May. Sculptui goose, Sculptui goose, May. Sculptui goose, Sculptui goose, Sculptui goose. We are all excited for June, which is also called the summer moon. Repeat after me. Nibini goose. June. Nibini goose. Nibini goose. June. Nibini goose. Nibini goose. June. Nibini goose. Nibini goose. Nibini goose. During the summer, many birds begin to molt. And the next moon is named after this. July is the feather shedding moon. And we also say, Beskiwi goose, July. Beskiwi goose, Beskiwi goose, July. Beskiwi goose, Beskiwi goose, July. Beskiwi goose, Beskiwi goose, Beskiwi goose. August means lots of fresh fruit and ripe berries are available which are an important source of food and nutrition. The fruit and berry ripening moon is Gisach Iwigus, August. Gisach Iwigus, Gisach Iwigus, August. Gisach Iwigus, Gisach Iwigus, August. Gisach Iwigus, Gisach Iwigus, 
Gisach Uwe Goose. Now we are getting close to autumn and the moose hunt begins. September is known as moose calling moon. Practice with me. Wigam gewe goose. September. Wigam gewe goose. Wigam gewe goose. September. Wigam gewe goose. Wigam gewe goose. September. Wigam gawe goose. Wigam gawe goose. Wigam gawe goose. With winter slowly approaching, animals begin to eat and eat, preparing for the cold. And so we call the month of October the animal fattening moon. Or Wigui Goose. October. Wigui Goose. Wigui Goose. October. Wigui Goose. Wigui Goose. October. Wigui Goose. We got a goose. We got a goose. The autumn is beginning to wind down, and winter is preparing to take its hold once more. The rivers we once paddled down are starting to ice over, and so November is called River Freezing Moon. Say it with me. Gip de we goose, November. Gip de we goose, Gip de we goose. November. Gep de we goose. Gep de we goose. November. Gep da we goose. Gep da we goose. Gep da we goose. With December, we have come full circle and are back into winter. This time is known as the great moon or the winter moon. And we say, Gessi gi we goose. December. Gessi gui goose, Gessi gui goose, December. Gessi gui goose, Gessi gui goose, December. Gessi gui goose, Gessi gui goose, Gessi gui goose. And now that we have looked at the 12 months, let us examine the days of the week. First, we have Umsquizway, Monday. Um squeeze away. Um squeeze away. Monday. Um squeeze away. Um squeeze away. Monday. The second day is double away. Tuesday. Double away. Double away. Tuesday. Double away. Double away. Tuesday. The third day is. See stay away. Wednesday. See stay away. See stay away. Wednesday. See stay away. See stay away. Wednesday. The fourth day of the week is no away. Thursday. No away. No away. Thursday. No away. No away. Thursday. After that, we have Gweltemultimk. Friday. Gweltemultimk. Gweltemultimk. Friday. Gweltemultimk. Gweltemultimk. Friday. The next day is Gespedek. Saturday. Gespedek. Gespedek. Saturday. Gespedek. Gespedek. Saturday. And finally, the last day of the week, Egendie Wimk. Sunday. Egendie Wimk. Egendie Wimk. Sunday. Egendie Wimk. Egendie Wimk. Sunday. Let us consider a common question related to the days of the week. You might be uncertain about what day it is, and therefore you would ask, Kohoe ula nagwek. What day is it? Kohoe ula nagwek. Kohoe ula nagwek. What day is it? Kohoe ula nagwek. Kohoe ula nagwek. 
What day is it? Your response would start with Yiskukna. Today is. Yiskukna. Today is. And if it happened to be Saturday, your full answer would be Yiskukna Gespedek. Today is Saturday. Yiskukna Gespedek. Yiskukna Gespedek. Yiskukna Gespedek. Today is Saturday. Now, let's look at the names for some special holidays and events. June 21st is known as Mui Walujik Elnug, or Aboriginal Day. Say it with me. Mui Walujik Elnug. Mui Walujik Elnug, Aboriginal Day. Mui Walujik Elnug. Mui Walujik Elnug, Aboriginal Day. Angugam Gewe Nagwek is Treaty Day, held each year at the start of October and marks the beginning of Mi'kmaq History Month. Practice saying it with me. Angugam Gewe Nagwek, Treaty Day. Angugam Gewe Nagwek. Angugam Gewe Nagwek, Treaty Day. Angugam Gewe Nagwek. Angugam Gewe Nagwek, Treaty Day. In different parts of the world, people celebrate Father's Day and Mother's Day on different dates. Here, we celebrate Mother's Day in May. And in Mi'kmaq, we call that day Ukijina Nagwagamuo, Mother's Day. Ukijina Nagwagamuo. Ukijina Nagwagamuo, Mother's Day. Ukijina Nagwagamuo. Ukijina Nagwek Muo, Mother's Day. Then in June, we honor our fathers on the day known as Guchina Nagwek Muo, Father's Day. Guchina Nagwek Muo, Guchina Nagwek Muo, Father's Day. Guchina Nagwek Muo, Guchina Nagwek Muo, Father's Day. Traditionally, we also make offerings to the winter spirit, and this is done in a book on a jit, February. This day is therefore called Esimut Bokunajit, which means feeding the February moo. Esimut Bokunajit. Esimut Bokunajit. Feeding the February moo. Esimut Bokunajit. Esimut Bokunajit. Feeding the February moo. In February, we also look for Minimkwech, the groundhog. Will the groundhog see its shadow? We call this day Minimkwech Nagwem, Groundhog Day. Minimkwech Nagwek. Minimkwech Nagwekum. Minimkwech Nagwekum. Groundhog Day. Minimkwech Nagwekum. Minimkwech Nagwekum. Groundhog Day. A month before this happens, we acknowledge the start of another year on a day known as Pusul Banani Wimk, New Year's Day. Pusul Banani Wimk, Pusul Banani Wimk, New Year's Day. Pusul Banani Wimk, Pusul Banani Wimk, New Year's Day. Occasionally, there are days that may have more than one name in Mi'kmaq. For example, November 11th in Canada is called Remembrance Day. In Mi'kmaq, we have two ways of saying this. The first is Migwidel Mujik Samaganisk, which means remember the soldiers. 
Migwideo mujik samogonisk. Migwideo mujik samogonisk. Remember the soldiers. Migwideo mujik samogonisk. Migwideo mujik samogonisk. Remember the soldiers. Another way of referring to this day is samogonisk wi walujik, which means to be thankful to the soldiers. Samogonisk mui walujik. Samogonist mui walujik. Be thankful to the soldiers. Samogonisk mui walujik. Samogonist mui walujik. Be thankful to the soldiers. In October, we give thanks on another day as well. Thanksgiving is known as mui waldimk. Repeat after me. Mui waldimk. Mui waldimk. Thanksgiving. Mui waldimk. Mui waldimk. Thanksgiving. Going back to February again, we have Valentine's Day. In Mi'kmaq, we call this day Gesadolgimkewe Nagwek. Valentine's Day. Gesadolgimkewe Nagwek. Gesadolgimkewe Nagwek. Valentine's Day. Gesekol dimkewe nagwek. Gesekol dimkewe nagwek. Valentine's Day. Simply put, this means love one another day. There are many more special days of the year. With the long history between the Mi'kmaq and the French, you will find many of the Christian holidays with Mi'kmaq names. If you are uncertain about pronunciation, Check with a fluent speaker. For now, keep practicing. Kesiawi, onuwi soltenage, velalioch ach nomotoksa.